Hello everyone, Farmerville welcomes you all busy people to yet another learning video. So in this video, we are going to learn about the GMP updates of September 2023. This is our first video on GMP updates in 2023. Those who are the regular viewers of the Farmapil channel, they are aware of the fact that Farmapil channel used to bring GMP updates every month. But due to some reasons, we were not able to bring videos. But from this month onwards, we will regularly drop monthly GMP updates. So with this note, let us get started with the GMP updates of September 2023. GMP update number one. So this GMP update is related to the water testing. So guys, European Pharmacopoeia has proposed changes in the testing of the nitrate test and endotoxins test in the pharmaceutical waters. Well friends, as per European Pharmacopoeia supplement number 11.4, nitrate test can be omitted from the purified water and water for injection in future if conductivity requirements for the water for injection or the purified water are met. So this change was long awaited. Actually, as per US Pharmacopoeia, the nitrate test was dropped years ago. Just to in line with the US Pharmacopoeia, European Pharmacopoeia has proposed this change that if during the water testing, if conductivity meets the requirement, then there is no need to perform nitrate test. Now the question over here is that uh, from when onwards we can follow this change? So answer to the question is, this amendment was adopted by the European Pharmacopoeia in March 2023 and they will publish this change in the supplement 11.4 of the European Pharmacopoeia in October 2023 and this amendment will be come into force from 1st of April 2024. So this was the first GMP update of today's video. Now comes the GMP update number 2 and this GMP update is related to the analytical balances which we are using in the laboratory on daily basis. So guys, USP, United States of Pharmacopoeia has shared the draft version of the USP journal chapter number 1251 for comments. And the title of the USP journal chapter number 1251 is weighing on an analytical balance. Now the question over here is that what are the changes or the updates and from where we can get the draft version of this journal chapter. So answer to the question is guys, if you want the draft version of this journal chapter, then you can get it from the Pharmacopial website. So here you can see the draft copy of the journal chapter is available on Pharmacopial website. Now as far as the new changes or the updates are concerned, so in draft journal chapter, principle of the balance section has been included, which was not there earlier. So guys, who are the regular viewers of the Pharmapil channel, they might be aware of the fact that we have already made a video on USP journal chapter number 1251. If you want to learn about the USP journal chapter number 1251, then you can check the link given in the description. And lastly, note down the date for the submission of the comments on this uh, draft version of the USP journal chapter number 1251 is 30th of November 2023. Now comes the GMP update number 3 and this GMP update is for those who are working in the quality control department. So guys, WHO has shared a draft document on good practices for the quality control laboratories. WHO has requested all the experts to review this document and share their comments by 6th of October 2023. WHO has specifically mentioned that comments received by 6th of October 2023 will be considered. And any comments which is received after this date will not be considered. So well friends, here is the draft document and I have gone through this document. It is a 83 pages long document and I have found this document quite extensive. So in this document, I have found that WHO has touched all the topics related to the quality control department. If you want the draft of this document, then I have shared the link in the description. Now comes the GMP update number 4 and this GMP update is for those who are working in the quality control department. So guys, US Pharmacopoeia has published the draft version of USP journal chapter number 701 for comments. Title of the USP journal chapter number 701 is disintegration. If you have any comments or the suggestion, then you can share your comments to US Pharmacopoeia till 30th of November 2023. Now the question is what are the changes in new USP journal chapter number 701. So guys there is a major change in this USP journal chapter number 701. Earlier there was only one wasket rack assembly with six openings. Now 
वन मोर बास्केट रैक असेंबली हैज़ बीन इंक्लूडेड विद द थ्री ओपनिंग्स so well friend let me tell you one thing that uh, in european pharmacopeia there were two types of basket rack assemblies therefore to in line with the european pharmacopeia us pharmacopeia has proposed the inclusion of basket rack assembly with three openings and one more important point you can remember here is that uh, test a basket assembly is used when tablet or the capsule size are not longer than 18 mm or i can say that uh, test b basket rack assembly will be used when tablet or the capsule are longer than 18 mm now comes the gmp update number 5 and this gmp update is for those who are working in the glp section of the quality control department so guys us pharmacopeial forum has published a draft version of the usp journal chapter number 41 for comments and the title of the usp journal chapter number 41 is balances Actually, USP Journal Chapter Number Twelve Fifty One is under revision, as I told in the beginning of the video. Since USP Journal Chapter Number Forty One and Twelve Fifty One are related to balances, and there are some commonalities, there are some similarities between these two chapters. So, whatever the changes will be there in Twelve Fifty One, same will be applicable to the USP Journal Chapter Number Forty One as well. So, now let us see what are the changes proposed in the USP Journal Chapter Number Forty One. First change is. life cycle approach has been included to ensure the fitness of the balance second change is the risk based approach in relation to the frequency of the calibration and performance checks has been included third change is related to a new section on calibration explaining the issues of frequency and uncertainty has been included fourth change is explanatory information on the topic repeatability test has been included Fifth change is related to the topic of standard deviation and minimum weight was aligned with the information in the chapter of weighing on analytical balances that is USP journal chapter number 1251 and the European Pharmacopeia journal chapter on balances Lastly new explanatory note has been added to clearly separate the minimum weight from the smallest net weight So these were the some of the changes or the updations in the USP journal chapter number 41 Now comes the last GMP update of today's video that is a GMP update number 6. So this GMP update is highly important for those who are working in the GLP section of the quality control department. So guys US Pharmacopeial Forum has published the draft version of the USP journal chapter number 31 and new journal chapter 1331 on volumetric operators for the comments. So guys these were the 6 GMP updates of September 2023. which every pharma professional should be aware of so hope you have found this video helpful with this note i would like to wrap up for now see you soon in the next video till then bye bye and happy learning